extra sensory is built on humanity's two main interests, ourselves and the future. What it means for us to collectively make our way in and understand the world and where we're going and how science might take us there. Welcome to Extra Sensory. Tonight is all about our sensory potential. What could our senses really, truly be with a little bit of help from science? At Extra Sensory, we explored the future of human perception. We considered how our senses work together to create a picture of the world and how we are sometimes tricked by our senses so that this picture can in fact be quite different to reality. Without our sense of sight and smell, we struggle to taste the difference between tea and coffee. Hearing sounds affects how we taste chocolate and how we place pressure on the bottom of our feet as we walk. Whether we seek knowledge in the music or stories we listen to, or conduct experiments for ourselves and on ourselves, we find the limits of our own perception and discover how these might be enhanced or augmented in the future. Instruments, AI and wearables are here and many more are coming to make the unperceivable perceivable. We can award ourselves sensory capacity inspired by the special abilities of amazing non-human animals and insects and become consciously aware of the information previously only available to our unconscious. Our visual sense tends to heavily dominate. We build our world around sight. We try to see further using microscopes, telescopes and other specialised instruments. But we have all this other sensory capacity. We can hear genetic variability, not just see it. We can feel our way with our fingers to understand the immune system or find our way inside a building. We can feel where we are in space rather than just see it. And we smell and taste a great beer or a fine wine. Extrasensory asks, what if the trick to furthering our capabilities is in part learning to refocus our attention on utilising all our senses together to their full capacity? In the future, we will probably all be left wondering how we ever survived without these scientific extrasensory perceptions.